sorry about that, man. Just working on my form. How, how on earth did it fly like that? Do you know what? Let's go to the whiteboard and find out. This is Sports Science. In today's episode, we'll be exploring the physics behind a frisbee. We'll look at how the frisbee flies in the air, why it flies in the air, when does this frisbee fly in the air, and who is this frisbee who's flying in the air. So the way this works, let me grab an example real quick. The way this works is you throw it, and when you throw it, you gotta do the right hand rule so it's more like, whoosh, you know what I'm saying? So the force is going down, which means that there's an equal but opposite reaction going up, which causes the forces of gravity and the force going down to cancel out. So that's what makes it a nice smooth toss. All right. Garrison is correct in saying that the centripetal force created by the flight of the Frisbee helps its stability. However, the flight of the Frisbee is due to airflow around the Frisbee. So we have the Frisbee here. As it travels to the right in our diagram, we receive airflow going over the Frisbee and under. However, because of the shape of the Frisbee, it creates more air underneath the Frisbee due to the air pocket and causes an upward lift of the Frisbee. Yay. I still don't quite understand this. You know, I was thinking about this myself and although I do have an A in this class, I just can't seem to figure it out. We're gonna need some help from somebody. I got this, guys. This doohickey is really booking it when you're flying through the air. Yeah. How do you calculate that speed? V equals D over T. Bobby is referring to the kinematic equation we use to find velocity. V equals distance over time. So as you can see, I'm Bobby, Bobby Magna, back at the whiteboard, here to determine the force that this frisbee is making while it's flying through the air. To do that, we determine, or we use the equation of some triple force. Fc equals m v squared over r. m we found to be 175 grams. Radius was about 133 centimeters. Now, in order to find out the force, we need to find the velocity. We use the distance over time equation and our yellow little ruler thing. As you can see, Bobby is very animated about this rig he's created for us to determine the velocity. Through multiple trials of throwing the frisbee across the screen, we were able to determine the velocity by measuring the distance of the ruler on our screen and using the time of our slow-mo high-tech camera to determine the time. Led, I'm Bobby, and now we're calculating the velocity, which is distance over time, and we have both of those variables. First off, we're gonna have velocity, and the distance is 3.175 meters, so 3.175, and then we over the time, which is 0.657, so this is 0.657, and that gets our velocity to equal about 4.83 meters per second. And then what we do is we just plug it right back into this equation. We have all the other variables. So we're going to do 175. All right, that's great. So we're going to get 0.175 kilograms times this. So 4.83 squared over RR, which is 0.133. And that gets our force to eventually equal 30.73. And that's Newton's. That's really bad ending. <laughs> this 30.7 newtons of centripetal force is essential to the flight of the frisbee as it creates a center of, a center of mass that allows the frisbee to stay in flight and stay stabilized despite having approximately 1.15 newtons of gravity acting on it. This allows the frisbee to stay aloft 
and to fly straight. Bro, I'm so glad our, we learned how to throw that frisbee now, man. Now our game's gonna be off the hook. I know, but but what else can we do to make our game even better? Bro, man, what's up, bro? Oh, bro, you know, him, bro. Mr. Antics, bro. I know, bro. So I heard you talking about your frisbee. I know what'll improve your game. So much more, bro. Bro, what is it? Weightlifting, bench press, hashtag, oh. shout out Coach Clark, Brunkie, Brunkinator, squat. Bro, let's go. hit up the bench bro. press. Come on. Let's go, bro. Let's improve our game. After further study, however, we concluded that weightlifting is the most important part to a good frisbee throw. This has been Sports Science with Jake Garrison, Lance, and Bobby. You stay classy, America.